852, now the time. And one of the oldest wineries in Paso Robles is offering plenty for its visitors. The secret to their success, though, is in their deep business roots. Yeah, Sunrise's Carl Gescheiter shows, shows us how it all gets done. Hey, Carl. Good morning, Patty and Randall. Justin Winery in Paso Robles started in the 1980s when there were only eight wineries in the area. Now there are over 200. And Justin's big picture business model is what's helping them through the tough times. The ugly hand of a sick economy hasn't taken hold of Justin Winery, and it isn't because of its remote location 17 miles outside of Paso Robles. We, in terms of the economy, look at the whole world and how we fit into that whole world. And so these activities may be important and are for people visiting the Central Coast, but as a business, we certainly go way beyond that. In fact, Justin distributes wines to all 50 states and 20 different countries. According to the owner, who still lives in Paso Robles, its competitive business model on a global level is what's helping the business survive. Whether we had any activities, those sales would continue to, uh, uh, to happen regardless. The winery has plenty of extra features that most wineries skip. There's a bed and breakfast, a dining room, a rose garden, a cave, and several different wine tours. So the basic one would be our winery tour. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and we really go in depth in the winemaking process. So this morning going on the tour was incredible to see that many barrels underground in a cave. I mean, it was, it was perfect. There are several upgraded tours as well, including a private tasting of previous vintages that are kept under lock and key. I think the international uh, and broad distribution allows us to do is financially be able to uh, offer some of those programs that and others may not be able to, to make a financial sense of. But for us, it's all part of a much bigger package that does work for us. The basic tours happen three times a day at 10.30, 2.30, and at 5, and they're $15 a tasting, and that includes the, um, the tasting fee. Now, the upgrades vary from there. There's a barrel and bottle tasting for $30, and also an exclusive tasting with a master sommelier, but those are by appointment only. Oh, an appointment only means too rich for me. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> right.